or just welcome. Uh, my name is Mary Kate, and today I begin the dreaded studio declutter. As you can see, I sit in my studio right now, and it is cluttered. I have a sticky note of everything that I want to do. Um, I already finished books, which is over there. You can't really tell because I got rid of most of them. Um, so I, I've already done books. And then I, yesterday, my husband helped me take apart my studio desk. It was something that we had made and it was a lot of fun to make and I'm really glad that we did it, but we made some big enough errors that it's not a super effective desk. So we got rid of the tabletop, which we had done, and we're gonna keep the legs. Maybe one day we'll try again, but for now, I don't think I really need a desk. I, did, I didn't honestly use it for all that much. Hi, Bubba. Why do you interrupt everything? Um, other things on the sticky note, art supplies. I have, um, a couple of bins full of like painting stuff and charcoal that I haven't used since what, 2016? Um, my closet, I don't even want to think about what's in there. Uh, photo albums, I had printed out a bunch of photos and now I need to actually put them in the album. Decor items, which actually aren't even in my studio anymore, they're in the basement, so we might save that for later. Yarn and knitting supplies, which is in my blue dresser. We want to sell the blue dresser, so I need to be able to totally clear that out and figure out a different plan for the yarn. And then fabric, which is another thing. It's in a, a filing cabinet right now, of all things. Um, and I am getting rid of the filing cabinet. We don't have space for it, so I need to find a different place to store it. Honestly, most of my fabric is scrap fabric. So I doubt that I'm gonna keep all that much. I'm thinking about going down to just keeping the fabric that I'm using for individual projects and getting rid of the rest. Cause I don't quilt, so I don't need scrap fabric. So that's the plan. We are going to start with the closet today. <laughs> I don't even wanna go in there. Um, because there's a bunch of Tupperware bins, the big, whatever you call them, bins which I'm going to be using to store some of the art supplies. So we need to clear everything out from there so that I can start clearing out from over there. Let's do this. It is day two of the big declutter um, and day two of my braids. Moving on from that, um, as you can see, I have taken everything out and now I've hit the roadblock of... Sorry, my neighbors are doing construction. I've hit the roadblock of now I have to start now I have to start putting things back and I don't know where back is. They're really stripping that screw. Um, I don't know where to
to put stuff. I'm feeling very stuck and uninspired. I am trying to get rid of everything that I am not likely to use within the next three years. Those are my standards. For example, I had a bunch of yarn, some of which honestly I probably will never use. And so I am donating it because someone will love that yarn. Someone will use that yarn. Um, and then if I need yarn moving forward, I'm just gonna buy it by project instead of hoarding scrap yarn. I am, let's see, I still have to go through some of my weaving stuff. I'm gonna probably get rid of my rigid heddle. I'm just not sure it's worth it for me to keep a rigid heddle when I have a full floor loom because I'm not gonna realistically weave on both. I'm getting rid of my oil paint. I love oil painting, but realistically, I haven't done it in three years, and am I gonna do it in three years? Probably not. A mindset shift I've been working on recently is that I have always been the jack of all trades when it comes to art. I do a little bit of everything. I dabble, I weave, I knit, I paint, I sew. I have worked in digital media. I, I just like, art in general and so I do a little bit of everything and I'm coming to terms with the fact that I don't want to be the jack of all trades and master of none. I want to actually take time to pick my crafts and focus on those and master those and once I am at a place where I'm really good at something and I want to expand out then I can but trying to take what little time I have and prioritizing the things that I care most about so that is going to be weaving and knitting. And so everything weaving and knitting related, I'm good to keep because they matter the most to me. I am keeping some of my paints, especially because it's helpful for planning out weavings. And I do use them here and there. Um, so I'm going to keep my paints, but I'm not going to keep all of the paint supplies I've had. I'm just going to limit myself to the paints that matter the most. Um, so I have watercolor and gouache in this guy and then my acrylic in this guy this is significantly less than i used to have and it packs up nice and tight so i feel pretty good about this um i'm trying to think of other stuff i'm probably still going to keep my needle felting because i did use that a lot this year and so we'll see if i use it next year i still want to so i think that i probably will so i'm good to keep that yeah, I kept all of my high quality yarn. So the wool yarn, the cotton, the linen, the stuff that was expensive to get that I see myself using in a project. Some of it I could see turning into like a tank top that I could knit. Some of it'll just be nice filler yarn, um, scrap yarn for weavings, uh, just to add like different colors and textures and stuff. I'm gonna keep my sewing machine because I've been using that a lot more. Over here, that is my maybe pile of old projects and then a bunch of like sketchbooks. I'm not sure how much I'm actually going to be sketching, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. At about this point, I was feeling very frustrated and overwhelmed with everything that was left. I was unsure of what to do or how to organize a lot of this stuff, so I honestly just took a step back. It's harder to work in a mess, but I still wanted to take some time to work on threading the loom. So I showered, changed into lazy clothes, and put in a little work before Max woke up. I always go through this phase with decluttering when I start to despair of ever finishing. When I start, I think it will take no time at all, and then it dominates my life and my thoughts. So I needed to mentally and emotionally step out of cleaning mode and back into living life mode. studio clean um yesterday whilst I was struck with a mood whatever I was able to put some stuff into this guy so I might actually instead of selling that and getting a new shelf I might just start using that one 
if I can find a way to get everything else in this room either in there or on there. Um, so that's my current plan for right now, just to see if I can fit it. If I can't fit it, I'm going to have to go buy a bigger shelf. I'm thinking like a tall shelf, but if I can fit it, that would make life easier. So that is where we're at with that. Max is here with me right now. Just chewing on his finger. So I'll probably only get a little work done before he has to go down for a nap and then I don't know. Yeah. I did want to take a minute to highlight some of these old weavings. I love tapestry weaving and ideally I would like to be able to sell tapestries so that I can continue weaving them without having a stockpile at the house. It would be super helpful to have some of these out of the house before we move in a few months, so if you want to do me a solid and also get something beautiful and handmade, here is your perfect opportunity. I'm officially removing all my listings from Etsy April 29, so this is the final few months to get something if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching and for the support I have received over this past year. I will see you in the next video.